Before we begin, if you're using a Mac, you need to go install either Mac Ports or Homebrew. You need to download and install Elasticsearch. We recommend either 7.9 or 7.10. And you need to go download and install Node 12. Once you've done all that and you've started Elasticsearch, then we can get going. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the Archimi project from GitHub. We'll go into the Archimi directory and we'll have a quick look around. The most important directories are the capture directory, which contains the source code for all of the capture piece that's written in C. There's the parliament part, which is kind of our dashboard and front end that's written in JavaScript. There's viewer, which contains the middleware and the UI that runs in the browser. And then there's the wise service, which contains the middleware for the wise plugin. The fastest way to build everything is using this easy button .build .sh script. We'll just run that. It may ask you for your root password to install some packages. Depending on your platform, this will be either really quick or may take a few minutes. So even though it says that you should run make install and make config, you don't need to do that because that's if you're building on a machine that you're going to deploy. We're just using this for development, so you can skip that. But what you do want to do is type make check. What this will do is it will go install all of the Node.js packages for Parliament, Viewer, and Wise Service, and it'll run our test suite. It may take a little while to do this, so I'm going to skip ahead in the video. Okay, you may need to pause your video until you get to this point. What's happening right now is that the viewer test suite is running. Looks like we actually had two errors that we'll have to look at. PCAP is loaded into Elasticsearch, and then a test suite is run. And this PCAP data can be used by the viewer application to do development. That's what we do. So now that the test suite is done and the PCAP data has been loaded into Elasticsearch, let's actually run the viewer application. You just do npn run viewer colon dev, hit return. What this will do is it will start up the, view, the viewer middleware and it will compile using Webpack the view application. You can just leave this running in a window and as you make changes, either the middleware or the application will automatically be recompiled so you don't have to keep doing it manually. Once this is done, we'll bring up our web browser and we can actually use the UI. Okay, so it says it's completed, so let's bring up our web browser, and you're just going to go to localhost 8123 slash archimy. It's going to ask for your password. It's going to be admin admin.
And the first thing you're going to want to do is change this last hour pull down to say all because our test data is not recent. It's in the past. So here's all our test data. We can just select a time range. We can open up sessions down here. And then as we make changes to the application, it will automatically recompile. And you may have to still hit reload or force reload, but you can right away see whatever changes you're doing. We have a contributing file inside of a repository that has all this information and more. You may want to check that out. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.